Hey crafters, it's Julie Creek from Creek Bank Creations. I'm here today to talk to you about the J brush. I had a customer email me asking questions about ink and use with the J brush and I thought it would be a good time to shoot a video with the J brush. We've never done this. So just going to give you a brief overview and do a little bit of um, stencil work and then um, share with you about our J brush. So we designed the J brush over a year ago, actually started working on it really two years ago because of my frustration with foam and um, foam, when you use foam to blend with, sometimes um, it gets caught in stencils and leaves a mark and then you got foam stuff running around. So I really wanted a brush that we could use with stencils. And um, so we went to a um, beauty supply manufacturer and started working on this concept of the brush. So um, one of the things that was really important to me was that we had a bristle that is like a stipple brush bristle. So this is actually a bristle that's made to carry paint, ink, and media. This is not a makeup brush. It looks like a makeup brush, but it is not. So we actually have a bristle in here specifically for paint, ink, and media, which I'm pretty excited about. And the big thing for me was the diameter of this tool. Um, a lot of the tools that are on the market that we're working with, that our competitors have, have a really small handle. And when you're trying to use something and you're blending with this really small handle, it's really hard on your hands. And I have issues with my hands. So I wanted a brush that was bigger, that was easier to hold easy on the hands. And um, I wanted it compact for travel so it all closes up. When you go to close the brush, you want to put the cap on and push it together like that. So here's what's great about the brush. Most of the time I'm using the brush with the band down and I kind of hold it with my hand over here to hold that up when I do my work. But if I want detail work and I have little bitty things that I need to fill color in, I'm going to pull that band all the way up and I'm going to pick up ink and use that pulled up nice and tight with detail. So it gives you the ability to do to to use it two ways. Now we do recommend that you use the brushes with dye-based ink. We sell the Catherine Pooler brand in the booth, and we have um, the full ink pads. We have the minis. We have the reinkers. I don't have much of the ink online. I just haven't had a chance to get that product on the website. But it's dye-based, so we're talking about close to my heart, stamping up the Tim Holtz Distress inks. Many, many companies have a dye-based ink and basically um, you want an ink that's like water, like you can move it with water, that works really well. So that's the kind of ink that we're talking about. It works well. The great thing about using the dye-based inks are that you can blend the colors. So you can put two or three colors in a stencil and blend those colors together and get a really cool effect. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a minute. Um, so we're talking dye base. Now we recommend that you use one or that you have one brush per color family. So if you have a green brush, anytime you want to trade out between colors, you can clean the brush off on a wet wipe to clean it and then let it dry for a little while. If the brush is really just full of ink, like the other day, um, I, I had the blue brush and I wanted to make a light blue, um, card for a baby shower. I um, looked at my brush and I'm like, wow, that's got a lot of blue ink in it. I took it over the sink and ran cold water until the water was clear. And then let the brush dry with the band up overnight. So if you really want to get it cleaned out, you can clean it out that way. Most of the time, I'm just cleaning that color off on a wet wipe. And you can literally see on the wet wipe when the color is gone and when you're back to zero and when you start not having any ink come off on that ink on the wet wipe, then you know the brush is clean and you can go pick up another color. So that's how we clean the brushes. So one brush per color family, we're cleaning off between colors. Um, we do have um, a color card. When, when you buy the brush, it comes like this. It is unbanded. So what we recommend is that you pick up the color card. We have a color card and you cut this and punch it with your paper punch and it's self-adhesive on the back, so you can stick it on your brushes and you can have them marked one per color family. So you can, if you buy six brushes, which is the basic color family here, we'll give you 
the color card for free. So if you're at a show, you buy six brushes, we're going to throw in the color card. And if you buy eight brushes, we're obviously going to throw in the color card. Um, not everyone wants to buy the whole, all eight brushes, which is brown and black. But if you do want all eight brushes um, and you like the block, this is um, what we call the J block. This is actually a wood block that we had designed specifically for this. This is how I store my brushes. Really nice block to keep the brushes in, really super handy. If you like to travel with your stuff and you would rather have a more compact way to do it, we also have um, a clear storage tote for the bags. And you can see here, this is eight brushes. Um, you might be able to get two more on the top if you wanted to. If you wanted to put pigments in there, we're going to talk about pigments in a minute. So this is a great option to carry and store. I love the clear thing that you can see through and see what's in your bag. So um, one of the cool things about this brush, because it is actually a brush made to carry ink and media, is that you can use it with the pigment inks. So... You can make really nice cards at Christmas with um, the pigments. And last year we used the Brilliance ink to make a really nice snow card. If you came in the booth and did a make and take, this is what we used. And we used the brush. So here's what, here's the deal. I um, take my cardstock, put some super tacky tape on the back, and cut a strip and mark my brushes. One silver and one gold. You could, you could do this for a bunch of different colors. I don't. I only have these two colors. These are the only time I'm going to use the pigments is for silver and gold. Special effect. Probably only going to use them at Christmas. Um, so I marked them this way and I store them with, with my ink pad so they're together. Here's the deal. When you're using the pigment inks, you don't want to blend the two colors together. They're not going to, um, they're not going to blend well and you need to let it sit for a little while because pigment ink has an open or longer dry time, okay? So you wanna be really careful. Depending on what kind of paper you use, if your paper is really porous and soaks up the ink really well, then um, you can get away with not having to heat set the pigment ink. But depending on the kind of paper that you'll have, you'll have to watch the pigment ink sitting on top of the surface and not drying, and then you're gonna to need to put a heat tool on it. So the... Um, Stencil brushes are $6.99. We are running a special for the month of January 2020. It will start uh, January 16th and run through January 31st, 2020. Everything on the website is 20% off. So if you're one of the lucky people who's watching this video in January 2020, then uh, you can go to the website and purchase for 20% off. You want to use the coupon code SNOW, S-N-O-W. Don't forget the coupon code. Orders without the coupon code will be charged full price. Orders over $75 ship for free. So it's a good opportunity for you to pop some things into the shopping cart. Maybe you've been hanging around thinking, I'd like to have a package of slide guides or some foam tape. You can throw those in the cart and get 50% off as well. So I'm going to turn the camera down. I'm going to do some stencil work and show you the brush in action. Crafter, so you're back. We're going to do some stencil work and work with uh, the J brushes. And I want to show you how I set up a card front and use the J brush with the stencil. So whenever I get started, um, there are many different ways to set this up, to set your card up. This is just the way I do it um, because I like for things to be square. So what I like to do is work on top of our grid paper. We sell this large sheet of grid paper. And I'm going to take a little piece of my super tacky tape. This is my quarter inch tape. And I'm going to set this up so that my card front is square on my grid paper. Now when I go back to put my stencil on, this is our hex flower stencil. If I line up my stencil on my grid, then I know that I have a straight pattern. Now that doesn't always really matter. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I'll just say this here. When you put your stencil on your card, um, when we work with people who haven't worked with stencils before, one of the things they tend to do is line up the edge of this stencil right here with the edge of the card. And if you do, you're going to have a white line that runs all the way across your stencil, which you do not want. So you want to lift that up and make sure that line is um, not on that top edge. And then you can tape your stencil down. I usually tape top and bottom. But if you're a wild child, 
you could tape all four sides. Okay, now we're going to um, use the J brush and we're going to use two different colors. I wanted you to see um, how it works when we use two different colors. We're going to start with the orange. We're going to take our brush off. And because we're doing light work, open face, not detailed, we're going to pull the band back and we're going to pick up ink. Now we have found that with the catheter and cooler inks, a really good way to pick up ink is just pushing the brush side to side. Um, when we first um, started using the ink pads, we were probably too heavy handed dabbing and it's really hard on this soft sponge ink. This um, is a soft surface. It doesn't need to push very hard. So just pushing from the side. If you have a felt, a hard felt, then you can definitely dab and pick up ink that way. This the side method is preferable for us. Now when we use this, we always want to start off on the grid paper and pull on to the product. That way, if we have a lot of ink concentrated on the head of our brush, we're not getting a big blob brush mark on our card. So I'm just going to swipe that across. Now, you can swipe like this. You can do swirls. Everybody kind of has their own method or way that they like to do it. If you want to get detail in a certain area, you can pull that band up. You can pick up some concentrated color and you can go back in and highlight those areas. So that's the great part about the brush is that you can get in there and highlight like that. So that's our yellow. We're gonna go back, or I'm sorry, that's orange. That's the orange twist. We're gonna go and pick up some yellow with our brush, pick that up. And we're always gonna start off on the grid and pull across. We're just gonna get some base color down. One thing I always like to do is start with a lighter, um, base don't put on a ton of ink in the beginning but I can build up color and blend color which is the fun part so we got we have a really nice base of color down there we're going to pull this forward get some detail color I'm going to go back in get the centers of those flowers with some darker concentrated color of ink this is a really fun little technique to do and then we're going to go down the middle and blend those two colors. And you can see how the dye-based ink just blends so well. So if you have a dye-based ink, I recommend you get it out and go to town. Now we're gonna remove our um, stencil. I have that beautiful card. Now remember, in the very beginning, we glued that down with a little piece of tape. So if we just tear the card off, it's gonna tear the card. So what we're gonna do is take our undo and we're gonna put a little drop of undo right in the middle of that card. And that's gonna release that card from the tape for us. And that's gonna dry in about a minute. Undo is acid free and photo safe. And the great thing about it is once you get it on that paper, you're gonna be able to roll that right up and then you won't have tape on the background of your project. So that is how we use the J brush. We do have a special running for the month of January 2020. Welcome you to go to our website and check out the deal, 20% off the J brush. And you can find our website at creekbankcreations.com.